What's up guys? So been a while since I made a video, but I'm just making a video today. Uh because I had trouble figuring out how to take care of what this video is about today. So um hopefully there's more people like me and it'll help you guys. So this is going to be demonstrating how to delete a undeletable folder or file that requires uh, permission from system. Um, there's a few videos out there, but um, I don't know. Didn't uh, like they were good. They got to the point, but they didn't do everything in the most timely manner. So once you have a folder like this, um, Visual Studio 2010 is a really big, uh, really big on making these really long file names in your program files and your C drive, so you always got to look out for them. And they're just uh, installer files that don't get installed if there's a corrupted um, part of Visual Studio 2010. So, yeah, um, it, when you want to delete it, you're going to go to Properties. And once you're at Properties, you're going to go over to Security, and you're going to have to provide administrator um, permission to go in. You're going to see System and Administrator's Max. Well, that's my name, and that's the, my computer name. So um, you're going to remove both of them and hit apply. And this will basically tell you that you can no longer access this folder because you just deleted everyone who had access. And you just hit yes, hit cancel, hit OK, and just exit out of everything. Now you're going to want to go back into properties, go to security, hit continue again. This time it's going to come up with a advanced security option so that you could replace the ownership. You're going to pick your normal profile, not the one that says administrators, and you're going to click replace owner on subcontainers and objects. So that's saying that everything inside the folder will you will also become owner of. Hit apply. Click yes. And this is just telling you that you need to exit out for the changes to take effect. So once more, we're going to go into properties, go to security. And now you, we see that the owner is now us. So we're going to go down to advanced, go to change permissions, and it should say type allow and your username. So you're going to check the two down here, include inherited permissions from this object's parent. So once again, that just says that everything in the folder will be affected and replace all child object permissions with inherited permissions from this object, which is basically the same thing. That says that all folders and files that are within this folder will now have the permissions that you're outlying here. So hit apply. Yes, you want to continue, and you should see everyone on the um, on your system, every user on your system now should have full permissions from the top one, and they should all all sub items inside this folder should now be able to be affected from the second checkbox. So I'm just going to exit out of everything, and when you go to the folder, you will now be able to delete it. So it's um, a bit of work. Uh, not the easiest thing to do. It's a real pain if you have to do a lot of them, but at least there's a way. I was getting extremely frustrated um, earlier today and in the past few days trying to delete them, but I'm happy that I figured out the method for doing so. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, if you leave a like, that'll be much appreciated. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day.